Close by. I can't tell, though. The fire's changed everything. Mr. Gavin on a hot grid. Now get this, men. If there's a blunder, we're due for a long stretch at the big house. We got it, Chief. The window shade is a signal and we don't move until we see it. Right. And then come fast. Remember, fix the phone. Let's go, boys. Good reason to be worried, Slater. And my advice to you is to get to Gavin right now. You're right, Duran. Stick by that phone. this man, Gavin, full protection, providing he makes a complete confession. You agree with me? Yes, Dad, if he comes clean. Well, I've got to have more than protection from the law. Why, if I squeal, that gang will get me. Now, listen, Gavin, if you tell the truth, we'll put your gang where they'll do no more damage. But if you lie, 
Well, I'll catch the gang anyway. And you'll go up with them. Now talk, or I'll call the police. I'll talk. Well, I begin. Now, first, we want to know this. Begin at the beginning, of course. I've got to have this right for my story. Now, what we want to know is, what happened to the gold special, where it was taken, and how? Well, aren't we going to wait for Bob? He'll be here later. Just now, he's busy. All right, Gavin, let's have it. Well, we lays for the train at Kenyon Junction. Knowing, of course, she's got to take on water there. <laughs> Well, then what happened? Well, we lost him. Two on the engine, the rest in the caboose, where the con shack and the guard was. Oh, or siding in between the two. Well, no, there's no cut off the siding, but there's the old disused line that ran to the El Dorado mine ten years ago. But the El Dorado doesn't join the state's Pacific. No, it doesn't join till someone makes a junction. We took a section of the state's Pacific track. was removed after the train passed up the old line. Where the rust was worn from the old rails, a corrosive was used. The time the railroad dicks got on the job, there wasn't a sign to show that the train had gone up the old El Dorado line for years. Why, that uh, country was scoured by a half a dozen searching parties. You can't hide a whole train on five miles of rusty track. Don't stop him, please. I've got to make the afternoon edition for this story. Listen, your name isn't in this yet, but if you want it kept out, talk and talk fast. Oh, all right. If you've got to have it, I'll listen. feet under the ground. The shaft is covered, and the tracks which led to it taken away. All right, Gavin. We can check up on that story later. Now, what became of the gold? Oh, I don't know. Nobody but the chief knows that. Oh, the chief knows, does he? Well, we want to know his name, and we want to know it now. Why? Oh, I... <coughs> Give me the boy, will you? <laughs> Why, well, I got to have protection. If I tell you his name, why, well, I got to get out of the country. name, Gavin, and you go free. With a boat ticket to anywhere you like. Withhold it, and you get the works. Now, you've got two minutes to decide. There goes the signal, boys. Come on. Fifteen seconds to go, Gavin. It means freedom or... I'll talk. I ain't gonna take that call up. Why, they will leave me here to... You're just in time, Sam. This man Gavin here has told us the story of how the gold special was stolen and dropped into the old El Dorado shaft. He's about to name his chief, the 
mastermind who planned the robbery. He's told that, has he? Well, guard your prisoner well. He knows the brain that planned this robbery is keen enough to plan his rescue. That's why he hasn't squealed. Now, let me handle this. You can't get information out of this sort of scum by questions. You've got to beat it. No, you can't do that. You mustn't. Now, talk, you rat. And talk fast before I drag your head off your shoulders. Keep your hands where they are, everybody. And don't move. Come on, Gavin. Over here. I didn't spell anything, Doc. I know you're coming for me. That's all right, Gavin. Out, boys. I am locking this door. And if anybody moves in the next five minutes, it's curtains. They're getting away. Call the police, quick! Yeah, the police. Please, please, quick. Operator. 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 The phone is dead. Those scoundrels have cut the wire. I'll get them guns or no guns. Don't be a fool, Sam. Those are desperate men. So they'll kill Sam. They'll kill you anyway. Take your time, Slater. What do you mean, time? Don't worry. They won't get away. What? Right. That's the gang, Lieutenant. The big shot's still missing. Come on. All right, take care of these men. Well, now, what do you think you're going to do with us? When those men ran out of this building, they ran right into the arms of the police that Bob Collins had waiting for them. What's that? Oh, Great work, boy. Well, how did you know? I knew that there'd be an attempt made to rescue Gavin, because Gavin's chief was here. His chief? Here? Well, what do you mean? Gavin was all ready to confess everything when his chief walked in and stopped him. Tom, you're mad. Why, well, you young cop, I... Tom, bag them all. Good go. Good go. Hey, get in. <laughs> Oh, he's got. It's either him or me. I'm sorry. Yes. Slater. Sam. I can't understand. Might as well hood us. It's true. You'll find the gold under the floor of the office of the old El Dorado mine. I guess I undertook too much. That boy of yours, he... he Samuel Slater of the Galconda Mining Company, master crook who engineered the gold special robbery. Oh, was... Betty, I'd rather you wouldn't publish that about Sam. His associates will never tell because he got his trying to help them. That gets into the paper. But, Mr. Hood, I'm a reporter. And as a reporter, I've got to turn my story into the paper. But don't you understand that I. That's right, Betty. As a reporter. But as uh, Mrs. Thomas Hood, don't you think you could kill the story for the honor of the family? Why, Tom. But it was such a wonderful finish to my story. Yes. It is a wonderful finish to our story. Well, after all the trouble we've been through to get that story... Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 